Seattle has become the first city outside of India to ban any sort of caste-based discrimination. And a lot of people are like, oh, that sounds good. But what does this all mean? Yeah, this is going viral right now. Like we said, guys, Seattle, the first place outside of India, the entire world to ban this. Andrew, it's been banned in India for 70 years. I'm telling you, a lot of people were debating this law, not just the law itself, but some people are like, why do we even have this in America? I don't know what's going on. So we got to get into some of the reactions and then some of our takeaways, guys. So make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications, Andrew. Um, let's get into it, Andrew. What is going on with the caste system? Because I, I didn't know that this was an issue in america right well i i guess apparently uh and i guess through reading the articles there's a lot of immigrants coming over and particularly maybe in the tech space where the tech industry hires a lot of people from india and maybe people get promoted and then people of the higher caste get promoted and they're in charge and then i guess there are some cases or reports of people discriminating against people like employees from a lower caste right and that is the whole concept behind the law right 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 and the whole law is supposed to prevent this uh but it doesn't just apply to the tech space but i would suspect that that's where it kind of comes from and stems right from. and there's just so much argument about this from within the indian community but also outside of the indian community but for like different reasons right yeah so we had to talk to some brown friends about this and they were different different types of brown friends by the way so i got an opinion and overall from our friends who are more americanized they're like you know this is good it's progressive but like if you didn't bring this up to me I would have never heard about this because I don't even think about the caste system. Like, I don't even know what caste I am. And I'm like, yeah, that's true. I think most... Indian Americans don't think about this kind of stuff. And I guess other people were bringing up, though, that because they need so many tech workers, brain workers, people who can code, work in software that are straight from India, you may need to legislate it, or at least that's the concept behind the law, because they're more bringing the old world dynamics because they just came from there versus coming from like 30 years ago. And by the way, a lot of immigrants do still bring over like motherland dynamics from the motherland across the ocean to America. Just because you cross the ocean and immigrate here doesn't mean you leave everything behind. Yeah. By the right? way, not saying we agree or disagree with the concept of the law, just like trying to explain it. Right. Moving on to number two, someone was like, man, classic woke Seattle, fixing tiny niche issues that impact only a tiny, tiny portion of the community instead of the real issues like crime, homelessness, drug use, messed up highways. Yeah. This is classic <laughs> Seattle, just not fixing anything that everybody needs but just doing this you know uh i'm not gonna like vouch and say like the seattle I, I agree with everything they do but now for as far as this law i think that one it was an easy sell because it's an anti-discrimination law and if you're bringing this up in seattle who in seattle is gonna deny this well like, yeah it's very like i guess liberal uh, a lot of white people right yeah. that probably are like yeah i'll sign it yeah but it also, obviously it was pushed forward by an indian councilwoman yeah though. i mean i think maybe passing this law was fairly easy it didn't take up too many resources i do not think that passing this law took all the resources away from trying to solve the drug but use do you think it is problem. performative because a lot of people are accusing it of being performative in the I sense of like they're like how are they going to legislate this like it's going to uh, be too murky and convoluted I, on the execution i do end. think as far as enforcing it just even having the law is going to scare people from discriminating against yeah. other people so maybe it that's does it. make me go hey guys i'm not saying these little wins are not wins you know it's good to put out little fires but what about these gigantic fires is it because the gigantic fires are just too complicated to navigate so you focus on like the media blowing up i, I could be a media thing too it's not not necessarily them just like blowing it up their wins to make it look like they're doing a good job maybe the media is like oh yeah this story looks like it's definitely gonna get a lot of hits but if it's this easy to scare people out of discriminating against each other i guess do it yeah so why even uh recreate these old world rules man i thought all the immigrants used to come to america and assimilate now you're telling me they're not even assimilating anymore where we got to put together laws to legislate like the laws like they have back in the old world i don't like this type of immigration anymore all right i mean i, I even want to talk about like chinese immigrants because we know a lot of chinese immigrants and i would say that you know depending on the province you're from certain chinese people will kind of discriminate against you a little bit like well, they'll, they'll a, say stereotypes yeah for sure. in a like, low key way like, I, for example if your family owns property in beijing or shanghai and you meet somebody from like hebei province for sure you're gonna think maybe you're cooler than them Right, right. I don't, I don't know how to what extent. I think different people feel it at different levels. But because right, if you're like a rich fob in a Ferrari from yeah. Hubei, well, yeah, you just only have a Lexus and I have a Ferrari. So even though you're from Beijing, I am from Hubei. How can you say that Beijing is better than Hubei? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I know Chinese immigrants that uh, do and 
don't care about this kind of stuff. You know what I mean? I mean, it even happened with white people, right? With like Irish and Italians coming to New York in like, uh, I want to say the late 1800s. That's what the whole movie Gangs of New York was about, yeah, right? Yeah, dude, they didn't even like JFK because he was an Irish Catholic and he was the president of the United States. So discrimination will not really stop. Right. To be honest. But, but I can totally understand, like, why people are like, yeah, man, why do we even need laws about something I don't even know about? Now I got to think about laws of stuff I'm not even aware of. I don't know. Yeah, I can, I can see both sides. Moving on, Andrew, some people said, well, you know, there's real need for these laws, guys. So whether you understand them or not, because it's not a part of your culture, we're just trying to protect people from their world. Ah, oh, man, maybe this was just something that I wasn't supposed to care about, man. I wish I never read or watched this video Doggone it. Now I got to think about this stuff, but I wish I wish I just didn't think about it. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, I think that laws have always been hyper-localized. Like, it wouldn't surprise me if Salt Lake City had some, like, Mormon-based laws that don't exist in other cities yeah, where there's not possible. as high population. You know what I mean? Like, they're not dealing with this situation as much. Yeah, I don't think every law was meant for us to understand, to be honest, and because it, it doesn't concern a lot of us. You know, the people who are outside of these circles are not Because Seattle's Indian. like 1%. Indian, I believe, and actually America is about less than 1% Indian. So theoretically, and even of that 1%, only like certain amount of people even pay attention to this. You know what I mean? Like, right. it's kind of like a fraction of a fraction. Sure. But I, I will say this. Once your population in America, like Hindus are like estimated to be like 2.5 million in America, and then like uh, South Asians as a total right. are like 4.5, there, there's millions of these people that yeah. may or may not abide by these dynamics. So um, the last group was like, man, this law is terrible. And this opinion was obviously from a variety of Indian people. Say Some people said, man, it's just going to be used to settle personal beefs. Nobody even knows how the caste system works in America. So how are they going to legislate it mm. when it's so convoluted and multi-layered now? It's not even clear cut. Sometimes it's just tribalism between castes, different castes. It's not even about who's higher and who's lower anymore. This this whole thing is a mess. Just keep this out of America. Yeah, and so, yeah. I I had a and these friend. Are, these are opinions from Indians. Yeah, by the way. yeah, yeah. An Indian friend was just like, man, like, honestly, I wish people would just stop thinking about the caste system. So now you're making people think about it more, and then they got to know what caste they are. I don't even know what caste I am, you know? So I guess there's always going to be criticism of every law. But yeah. um, overall, I guess if it's to stop discrimination, that sounds like a good thing to do, and you should do it. For sure. And I just think with any laws, man, it's always like so many pros and cons. Like, for example, let's say, for example, there's a group that's being discriminated against. That's wrong. Good that they have a law against them. But then maybe that law could be jujitsu and used against other people unfairly. So then that's like, I guess, the convoluted mess of it all, right? Yeah, it's possible. Um, David, what are the overall takeaways? Because we want you guys to leave it in the comments down below what you think. Because we um, really don't know. To be honest, we are complete outsiders looking in. Like I said, I think most people in America, their knowledge of the caste system is 0 out of 10. Mm -hmm. My understanding of it is like 1.5 out of 10. And maybe even the people who pass this law do not have a 10 out of 10 understanding. I mean, here's my thing. Discrimination is not going to end. I mean, you can post up laws. I think it helps. I think it scares people. And I think it does punish people who do it and that you can prove that do it. But it's not going to actually stop, like, personal discrimination. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of weird. Like, in England, Andrew, if you have, like, a Cockney accent, <laughs> people are going to judge you for having the Cockney. They're going to be like, I don't really trust this fella. Right. Or if you talk if you're from Birmingham... London, you know, right, which is right. a, the city outside of London. They got like a bad accent. You or know what if I mean? you're or, from Birmingham, Alabama? Yeah. Where you're like. Or, or, or Nate, you know, uh, the, the comedian the, Nate is always talking about up. a man in Louisiana. Everybody thinks when you talk like this, you're stupid. You can be yeah, the I'm, smartest guy in the whole entire world. You go to New York, people are going to think you're dumb. Yeah, I mean, think about it. If you got this voice and you're trying to make it in like uh, New York, you know, the finance world or yeah. somehow in, in the tech industry, yeah. people not going to take in it China, seriously. In China, if first. you tell people, oh, yeah, yeah, I have a, uh, a, a hedge fund, but I'm from Guizhou, some people are going to be like, uh, I don't, like, we don't know if we can trust a Guizhou guy. Or like people in, <laughs> in South Korea, right? If you don't have the Seoul accent, you have like a really rural, like countryside yeah. accent. So then you maybe have to change your accent. I don't know. It's tough to say, man. Like, yeah, you know, I, I think the truth is that there's always hierarchies in this world. And I guess... I guess this was just, I think it was an easy pa a law to pass. I hope it didn't take up any resources. I hope it doesn't cost the state too much. But I think if it was to stop some discrimination in a very popular industry that has a lot of money and power in Seattle, the tech industry, then perhaps it's a good thing, you know? So why not? But yeah. Who knows, man? Like I said.
is dude no law is perfect and maybe there's some side effects but you guys let us know in the comments down below again guys uh we're just on the outside looking in also wondering what this all means too because it's interesting to us but let us know in the comments down below we are the hot pop boys and until next time we out peace